we've got Stephen Van Brock over here and we're going to go through pro board setup. Stephen, okay, it's been a long time since I've done freestyle and things have moved on a little bit. Um, just looking at the boards around here, you guys have got some crazy foot strap yeah. going on. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing these are not in their recommended sort of production board holes. You've changed the holes around a little bit? Uh, no, in the, in the new boards, I use the, the standard uh, holes. But with the JP straps, you can customize uh, the, the size with the, with the plastics. Oh, here, okay. you can, here you can see them. So yeah. if, if you turn around the plastic, you get a, a wider strap. And if you turn them both sides in, inside, I see it then, squeezes you, then it the squeeze, squeezes it narrow. So actually okay. you can customize it. You can also do it only one side. Yep. So you can really precise, customize your size of, uh, of the feet. Okay, so you go full narrow. Yeah, I and go, that, I go full the... narrow and I use the, the, the normal position. With the new board, we have uh, one CM uh, more narrow. So, okay. uh, and actually it's the, the most comfortable stance for, let's say for everyone. Yeah, so they're pretty narrow. You, use, yeah. you wear boots as well. Yeah. Uh, but they're quite high. Yeah, the reason, actually, there's a few reasons. Uh, the reason, first reason is you get, you get easy in yeah. and easy out. So it's also more safe. For example, something goes wrong. When your feet is inside and, and for example, something goes wrong and, and you have, your, your feet can still kind of twist turn, in twi the twist inside the strap. If, if you have a flat strap like this, all the pressure comes on the top. You want to actually have the, the pressure around your feet. That's what so keeps you in the strap. It keeps you also pressure it, on the side. Yeah, pressure on the side and the top, like like the around the feet. Yes. But if something goes wrong, you can still move. Mm -hmm. Also, also if you go that side or you know, actually yeah. it's a uh, it's also safety and it's also more comfortable. Yeah. So anyone who used these straps would probably go, oh my god, they're too tight. But mm. but you have to get used safer. to it. But it's safer and it's it's more comfortable. Okay. Once you're used to have uh, narrow and higher straps, uh, you you cannot go s go back to the the flat and the long ones yeah. because it that's why a lot of people you can see they get the bump on yes. top of the feet. That's, from too that's much the pressure. reason is that they have the straps too wide apart and too flat. Okay. So you get all the time pressure on the top. You need to have the pressure around your feet. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, foot strap position. Yeah. Uh, do you have a certain uh, spread yes. between the straps? Yeah. What's, what's I mean, it's a, it's it's personal, you know, but uh, I think it uh, depends on the how tall you are, okay. and um, you need to find the balance between the control and pop. So okay. how closer you put them, how more pop you get, okay. and how further apart, how more control. Okay. That's what I always say. So if you if you want to jump, you're standing with your feet like this. You can jump higher yeah. than if you would jump like this. Makes sense. And it's also with control. So that's okay. that's about the uh, yeah. So the if you got your feet you wide apart, someone tries to push you yeah, over. Yeah, you're more stable. You're more stable. But you're not. You cannot. But you pop. can't pop. Yeah. Okay. So you need to find the balance. <laughs> I like that. Okay, yeah. so there's some. I mean, it's easy, but it's, it's yeah, true. yeah, but it, but it is. <laughs> it uh, is like that. Uh, mass foot position. Um, same, actually, same thing. Actually, your feet and your. I mean, that's my my uh, yeah, yeah. logical thinking. The base is also part of your feet. You're on three feet, actually. Yeah. So. It's a connection to the board. Yeah. How close everything gets, how more easier it's to move and to pop. And uh, but uh, if you want to have more balance, you put everything further apart. Okay. So I like to have the base. My base is already quite close to the the front strap. And for me, this size. Yeah, you see, it's the center also. Yeah. The center is my my size. Yeah. But well, I mean, that's <laughs> fair enough. You're quite a tall tall bloke, so yeah. your boom, I'm guessing, will be. My quite boom, high. boom is normal position, yeah, for the sail it's already almost yeah. at the top. So that's quite, and does it, does it make a difference for spinning moves if it's closer to your feet or further away? Does that make the board spin less or more or do you not think I mean that? maybe, it, how close to everything, I think it makes it easier to, to spin. Okay. But uh, for the balance, it's, if it's further apart, but then the board is not so easy to pop. Okay. So so like you say, it's just it's trimming, yeah, you trimming. start in the middle and I mean, really when you do freestyle in the beginning, don't focus too much about those things. Okay. Just put, I mean, on the JP, just put it in the center, put put your straps in the center and you're you're ready to go. Yeah. Okay, and really if you easy. want more pop, bring it back a bit. Then you can, you, can you can play a bit, you can play with it, yeah. You can okay. play around. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, fins. 
Yeah. Uh, we had a bit of a chat before, but we'll talk about it now. Uh, you've got what size fin in this board? Uh, I have a 19.5. And this is your 100? Yeah. 100, yeah. Most uh, of the time I use what, 100. What's your, what's your most used board? What, you've probably got three boards. Uh, yeah, I have. I use uh, two size. I mean, I have three. I use three sizes, but most of the time I use all the time 101. Okay. And in extremely light conditions, I use the the 106. And uh, I mean, now it's the 105, I guess. Yeah. And uh, in the extremely strong wind, like 42, and when it gets really really choppy, then I use 92. Okay, and you use the same fin with all these boards, or it depends uh, on the place? Pretty much, place? yeah, pretty much depends also about the place, but most of the time 19.5 is the right size, also in my small board, and uh, on my uh, big board I use the 20.5. Okay, and does that change if you go to Bonaire, for example, it's perfectly flat, or you're sailing You know, the, the difference is really small, actually. Okay. Really small. It more depends about how choppy it is, and uh, this yeah. makes a bigger difference. And then you go bigger? Bigger, yeah, longer, yeah, okay. more control. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about your board. Um, just looking at your board is quite interesting for me because freestyle yeah. boards have definitely changed over the years. Yeah. Back when I was a lad, uh, they were more about carving. Yeah. Now it's about speed and pop, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. Uh, just looking at the tail of that board, it almost goes in like a wave board. It's got a, it's yeah. like a narrower tail, like yeah, almost I mean, wingers. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, the new hunt, the 101, the tail got a little bit more narrow. Uh, it makes the feeling of a smaller board too. The board, yeah, it's a bit like the the slalom boards you can see now. Also, they get more narrow tails, and and the the feeling of the board is is a huge difference. When you have a more narrow tail, you feel like you're on a smaller board, yeah. but still have the the drive from a bigger board. Yeah, yeah, and it's got quite parallel rails. How sharp? Yeah, do you yeah. Have, how does how does it work with uh, sharpness? Yeah, it's uh, the rails are sharp in the from the back, and and they go slightly more round to the front. Okay, and the more round they are, that's obviously for, less for, catchy. It's for, the, it's for the sliding and the, the rails are for the for the, the grip pop. and for the pop. Because if it's yeah. obviously too soft at the back, yeah. that's when you can't release you need, the board from You the need water. to have a nice from, from sharp to, to round. Yeah. Okay, and bottom shape, what's, what's going on with the bottom shape? Does um, that make much difference? Yeah, it also changed. Um, they, now we don't have uh, V, I guess. It's uh, flat. It's more, it came from the slalom. Okay. Because we want to have the, the boards more lift. I wanted to have a board lift up, but with control. Okay. Not like a board which goes like this. Yeah. So we I, we took the, the V away, and so it's a flat. And we also have a... I'm not 100% sure it's about like the bottom shape. Yeah. <laughs> Some double concave, and yeah. it's a bit... Uh, it's different, yeah. Okay. And there's, a there's no no V in the in the back. That's what I know. Okay, so just flat. Yeah. I mean, you, you <laughs> obviously you you have Werner shaping the boards. Yeah. You try them and you like go. Oh, well, this is a bit yeah. more skidding. He goes back yeah. to the shop and changes. Yeah, he it. knows a lot about <laughs> these things. And uh, what I, I always look like more like the the balance of the board, like the foil and distribution and stuff. Yeah. This I feel the the biggest difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one more thing. No shape. I've been yeah. seeing a few different noses, which is quite yeah. interesting. You, JP this year looks like they've gone for a kind of the square nose, the sort of yeah. vanguard type style yeah. nose. Uh, what, what do you, is that just a, a personal preference thing or you think it makes a difference? Or uh, seeing when, some pointed yeah, when noses we were developing the, the, the freestyle board, there was also when the slate came out with the, so I was also trying the slate, but it's still a wave board, so you cannot really know. So I told Werner, let's just try it, something new. And then we tried it, and because I want to have the board shorter. Yeah. But when you make it some something short, you will you will lose the balance too. So we you still want to have a board which is easy to ride, but also yeah, radical so in the same. A bit of length gives it more control exactly. and an easier ride. Yeah, we wanted to because I've I've been more looking to the moves and videos and where the the board catches the the rails and where you need to control. And for example, like a shovel spark, you you need to have something to to control on the water yeah like to if, yeah, if it's too short it yeah. gets too the board gets more harder to ride maybe okay so, yeah I, I just I, mean, I just tested it and i loved it so that's why the reason is we have it like that and also i found out uh, it gets more nose pop okay. so when you, so you get a bit of when you have the shaka you land it backwards yeah it, it pushes you okay more up Okay. That's what I feel the difference. Yeah. And so what what length for this board? Looks pretty short. This one is two twenty. 
Okay, so they're getting shorter freestyle yeah. boards. I mean, I probably a few years ago, 230 was a normal length. Yeah, now it's yeah 230, 230 was normal. Now it's, two, I think, 220 is we, a nice size. Are we going to see it smaller? Um, I will I will test for sure. You know, you always need to try things. But uh, you need to... It has to be rideable for everyone. Yeah. Not just... Uh, even for me, I don't like boards which are too radical. At the end, it's the... Balls Muller style. <laughs> yeah. Do you have 199 or yeah, something? Yeah, the 199. <laughs> you know, it, it can be good for something, but not good for... You yeah. need to find the balance. Yeah. I think that's important. And yeah, maybe... It, it, I believe it can be it can be still shorter, but yeah. Yeah, it's you finding do. the balance. Obviously, yeah. other people have to ride this, not yeah. just the world champions and, exactly. and the top and guys in the world. And this is really easy to ride. Really. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. There we go. Steve Van Brockhoven talking boards. Um, I'm Bas Miller, you turn into windsurfing.tv, the sickest channel in the windsurfing world.